What's up, everybody? This is Amazon Agent, aka Tanya, back with your second part of your the HyperX Cloud Revolver headset review. Um, I use these uh, headsets for over a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Um, I use them during my gameplay. I use them during my everyday computer use, and um, they were pretty solid. I mean, they. The sound quality is about just as comparable to my normal um, original clouds. Um, but um, before I give my final analysis of the headset, I just wanted to throw in a little video of the mic quality. Um, I guess it's the easiest thing I can reproduce uh, on video for people to see a comparison. Um, so the following clips are one clip with me playing Destiny with some friends um, using my normal uh, microphone setup, which is I use a Yeti, a uh, Blue Yeti uh, microphone um, to have conversations with my teammates through Discord uh, while I'm playing Destiny. Um, and then after it is another clip with me using the microphone on the Cloud Revolver headset and um, the difference between those two, all right? So check this out and then I'll be right back with my final analysis. Oh shit, be careful. Ah, ah. Ah, got out of here. Oh fuck, he's on me. This is not gonna be good. Beefo just bought his. Let's do this. Oh, what the hell? Where's my ghost? Oh, this is bad. This not a bad good shape. idea. We are in the the yeah, we are. Give me cover. It might be okay. Yeah, okay. Famous last words. I'm gonna come here and then I'll go pick some up. Okay. God, there's a servitor. Oh, behind you. No There's a servitor all the way off into the distance when I went to go pick up the ammo. Oh, oh! ship. Guardian, oh. I'm receiving a scrambled message from a signal I'm unfamiliar with. Get out of here, bro. The encoding oh. is strange. It seems the message came through in multiple parts. We need to find a way to decipher them. Why are you hiding? Hiding! Stop hiding! Watch incoming hostiles. We're about halfway there. Alright, so that was the sound difference um, that you can hear in the mic quality between using my traditional um, Blue Yeti mic and using the Cloud Revolver mic. Um, I mean, the quality is great. Uh, it does pick up it's very sensitive. Um, it's close to your mouth. Um, I think it's probably one of the the cons about 
personally using um, the mic on this headset is because it was kind of close to my mouth. Um, even if I pulled it away, um, it still picked up my breathing. If, um, you know, if I took a, a breath in either through my mouth or through my nose. Um, so I kind of noticed it in the recording. And um, my friend, uh, Alexis, who was playing with me, noticed it as well. Um, so that could be kind of, um, if you want to do uh, live streaming or if you're doing recordings for YouTube and stuff, then maybe something you want to consider about when using this mic for recordings. Um, it might be a little too sensitive. I mean, you could adjust the settings in your computer, um, but this doesn't have like an external amp. So you can't just uh, adjust it on the fly, like say, like an Astro um, 850s would, where it has an external amp that you could just turn a knob and do that. You have to mess with the settings in your computer. Um, so that could be a con for someone who's doing recordings like I am right now. Um, but if you're not doing any recordings, if you're just um, playing online and stuff like that, the microphone is great. Um, it works great. Uh, everybody heard me just fine in the Discord. Um, and, um, I even tested it a little bit, uh, just using it online, uh, through the PSN network, um, during like when I was in the tower, uh, and it worked fine. People could hear me just fine. Um, so the microphone is a great quality, um, solid. So if you just like to game on your headset and have everything right there, then I say go for it. That's fine. Um, the audio quality, quality, quality. Uh, excuse me, through the headset um, was great. I had no issues uh, hearing audio from it. Uh, the sound was rich. It was just as good, if not maybe a little bit better um, than my uh, original clouds. Um, the only other con I would say to the headset itself um, build-wise is this metal bar. Um, I did mention it in my first part of the video that I noticed that when I had it on my head and I touched the metal, um, since it was on the outside, I could hear it really loud and resonating in my headset. Um, and it, for me, it kind of, every time, like, let's say my sweater, if I had a sweater on, um, brushed against it, or if I happened to touch, uh, the outside metal, um, it just really broke my immersion um, because it was just, it's just like metal grating. It sounds so loud in the headset because it, it just uh, reverberates uh, through through the ear cups so loud. Um, and I don't know if having this um, metal bar on the outside helps any. Uh, maybe it helps with the tension of uh, holding it to your head, but I don't... I feel like having that there kind of takes away from all the great sound quality that you're getting through the headset because you can hear this. And I mean, the lightest touch, you could just hear it reverberate through the headset. So for me personally, that was kind of a big con. Um, you know, everything else would be great until like this would get touched or rubbed. Um, rubbed against my hair or my sweater and I just hear this just in the headset um, it doesn't show up in the recordings so it doesn't affect any recording audio or anything like that but um, I just I don't know if having this on the outside is a good design choice uh, the original ones had the same type of metal if you see right here holding the cups and it goes into the headband and it holds its shape. I mean, if this is for holding shape, then I don't see why it had to be on the outside. You know, I mean, it looks cool. It definitely certainly looks cool and, you know, imposing, I guess. But um, just in the middle of that. And I mean, the metal extends all the way down here to, to the top of the ear cup. So if even if you're just adjusting your headset and your like fingernail just scratches this, you're gonna hear it so loud in the headset that it kind of takes took me out of it. Some people might not have a problem, and if you're one of those people, then you know go for it. Um, 
me personally, I'll be using this headset, but I'll be switching back and forth between this one and that one. Um, only because if, if I'm playing something like, you know, a scary horror game or something like that, which I plan on doing, like I'll last two or something, and this rubs against me, and it just, it just takes me out of the environment that I'm in, I'm gonna be kind of pissed off, so, um, but otherwise, uh, these are a solid headset, um, the price point that I'm seeing on Amazon for this headset is fantastic, um, you know, you cannot get this kind of quality, um, at that price point anywhere else, um, you know, Astro, great company, as I said, I've used their headsets before, um, but they were never as comfortable for me, and, um, you know, the price on them can be a bit, um, steep for, for someone who might not want to, um, spend so much on a headset, um, but still get good quality. Uh, I've had Turtle Beaches, same thing, um, if you're not going to pay high-end prices, the cheaper end models will do just enough, but you're going to lose out on the sound quality. These are, like, right in the middle, they're giving you high end sound quality sound builds um but for a really affordable price and um you know this is not cheap it's not cheaply made it's it's long lasting like i said these i've had um since they've launched and there's no deterioration on them whatsoever and i expect um the same from these as well so i definitely give these a thumbs up um minus some of the small cons which i think maybe just a personal preference um you know you might not have the same issues with those um things that i had cons about but um if not if those things don't bother you i would say definitely pick these up um i'll put a link an amazon uh link in the description if anybody's interested in just jumping straight there and a link to the hyperx uh, Cloud Revolver page as well if you want to read up uh, a little more details about this. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, uh, leave them in the bottom. Um, and let me know if there's anything else I could try to get my hands on and see if I could review it for you. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day and peace. <laughs>